I'm sure you've probably noticed by now, but some CSGO skin prices are going wild. The Op Lightning Strike, for example, a skin released back in 2013, has risen in price from about 75 bucks to over 800. Now, the reason behind this is Source 2. With all the recent leaks and rumors, knowing that there will be some basic graphic improvements and upgrades to the game, players are expecting certain skins to also be updated, and the Lightning Strike may be one of these. Before I get into everything, let me give a quick shout out to today's video sponsor, Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is hands down one of the best bot trading sites you can use with CSGO skins. Say you want to upgrade some of your current skins, this would be the perfect site to do it with. You can also straight up buy skins too, and with their 35% deposit bonus plus my code, it gives everyone quite a nice balance to work with. There's even free giveaways and rewards for completing simple tasks on the site to help you get even more skins. Get $5 for free now with my link in the description below. Okay, with that out of the way, let me first start off by saying that even with Source 2 coming to CSGO, your skins will be safe. They are not getting deleted and there's no new game coming that would make them not usable. I know some people still think that, so hopefully they see this part of the video. But besides that, people do believe that skin textures could be updated. I mentioned the lightning strike in the intro because it's one of the skins that has risen the most because of these rumors, but it's also the one to have some really interesting concepts. Right now, this skin is literally just an image slapped onto the op model. Like it really doesn't look that special and honestly, only costs a fair amount of money because of its rarity. But what if Valve updated it to potentially make it look better or maybe even animated? I've seen some really weird but also kind of interesting ideas posted in various places. And while I don't think any of these specifically are that great, having the lightning like strike when you fire the weapon is kind of cool. Even though nothing here is definite, factory news are now selling for around $800 instead of the normal $500. At least that's what they've seemed to be about trending for the past couple of months. But even on Steam, there has been multiple sales at these insanely high prices. Like I said, too, this isn't the only skin going up in value. Any CSGO skins out there that have concept reworks seem to be rising in value a little bit. Skins like the Hypnotic, Valence, and Daybreak, for example, are some of these. And as you can see by the concepts right here, they look very interesting. If we take the Hypnotic out of these, though, and check it out on Steam, you will see it as well has sold for ridiculous prices recently. Now, while something like this would be absolutely insane and completely game-changing for CSGO, I'm going to be completely honest, and I'm going to say I don't think animated skins are ever going to come. With the new updated game engine, yeah, they could bring them to the game and they could do it really easily. But we already have pearlescent skins, which are basically animated skins considering they change color as you move and based on lighting. At least in my opinion, I feel animated skins would just make the game feel more like COD and less like CSGO. The Source 2 engine is only going to modernize the game, and if it's done correctly, it shouldn't change any major aspects. I'd consider skins a pretty major aspect, so I really doubt anything significant is going to happen to them. Yes, there will be a graphics improvement to the game, but it most likely will not change what items and objects look like. Of course, the hype will continue and prices will rise and fall. But what do you guys think about all of this? Let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to see. Anyways, though, that about wraps up this video. If you did make it this far, don't forget to drop a like and of course, subscribe if you're new. And uh, other than that, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Peace.